This is Detective Minich. What can I help you with? Uh huh. Oh, you have a lead about digital privacy. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I'll get right on it. He said he had the lead on digital privacy, but what even is privacy? I gotta do some research. The right to privacy isn't even mentioned anywhere in the Constitution. I think I need to do some work on my laptop. It says here that the meaning of the term right to privacy has evolved throughout the years due to several cases, interpretations of law, and the innovation in technology. And U.S. citizens feel as though they're, they're losing their right to privacy due to technological advances. I guess that must be my first clue. We have the right to privacy in the digital age, but we don't quite know what that, what that means these days. So if that's the first clue, I know where I need to go next to learn a little bit more about the digital age. I gotta go to the digital marketing agency down the street. Tell me everything you know about privacy in the digital age. In the current digital age, consumer privacy is one of the more debated topics of what's right and what's wrong. At the core of this is data mining. That's what we do every day. Data mining is a collection of consumer information, which is then sold to marketing companies who use it to improve the online experience of their consumers. Yeah, yeah. He said it's about data mining. I think I know what I have to do next. So he said that data mining was all about companies having information on you from what you post on the internet. I wonder what kind of information that they have on me. Why is there this ad for a new trench coat? I looked that up like two weeks ago. And now they're showing it to me in my size. Oh, and this Twitter account? I deleted it like five years ago. But there's still information online about me about it? How weird. It's almost like I have a digital footprint or something. What was that? How didn't you know that you leave traces behind each time you get on the internet and companies can use that against you? Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That must be the next clue. Oh, I just got an anonymous tip. The center said that they were able to decrypt someone's personal Facebook data and that this hope that this helps me. What even is all this? Unencrypted personal information found on a Facebook page? That doesn't seem private at all. So we have all these clues, but I don't understand how they all fit together. Um, I don't really understand data mining and all these different things, so how does it all like tie together? Where's clue five? Well, we learned about the right to privacy, data mining, digital footprints, and advanced technologies, and that all leads up to clue number five. And I think I know what we've been missing. I've heard about this thing called an ebook that teaches you all about the right to privacy. Let me show you, I can pull it up. Here's the ebook I was talking about. It's called Privacy and Security in the Current Digital Age. It talks about exploring privacy in the digital world, and the end of it even mentions some really cool tips on how to protect your privacy online. It says that it was written by five students in a class. I think that this definitely helps solve the mystery.